Hi everyone, welcome back to Lavendaire. So previously I made a video called my camera setup for YouTube where I shared the things that I use to make videos and recommend some camera for people who are starting out on YouTube. You can watch that video here. But today I just wanted to give an update on my new camera gear and also just share the camera gear that I bring with me as I travel. So cameras for vlogging and for taking photos mostly for Instagram. So this is my new baby. This is the Sony a7S II and I've had this for a few months now. I got it right after I did YouTube Next Up because they gave us like a gift card to purchase new equipment which was really cool. But basically this is my second camera. I use this to shoot b-roll and more filmy pretty scenes because I still use my Canon 80D to shoot like this kind of vlog because it has a flip out screen. I like to be able to see myself with the flip out screen and I really like my Sigma lens. So I still have that camera but I got this camera because it's like really powerful for low light shooting for video so whenever I travel I don't have control of the lighting and uh, this this the video quality it just looks so gorgeous it's like film and people do shoot short films on this thing so it's super powerful so the Sony a7s it's a full frame camera I just wanted to upgrade to full frame and I got this because it's a mirrorless camera which means it has like a smaller body this camera is just so much easier to travel with than my camera because it's smaller plus um, I got this lens for my Sony the 24 to 70 this range covers everything that I need when I'm shooting travel vlogs and travel photography I just wanted to get like one lens for this camera because I don't want to be like changing lenses here and there so even though it could be like much more powerful and prettier with some prime lenses I'm really happy with the zoom lens that I have right now the only downside to the Sony a7S is, like I said, the screen doesn't flip out 180 degrees. I can't really film myself with this camera, so that's like the biggest thing. Also, it doesn't have a touch screen and my Canon has a touch screen, so I've had to get used to like just navigating the Sony menu and stuff. So yeah, this is my main camera for shooting video and photos when I'm traveling. I think if you look at my Instagram, maybe like 75% of the photos are taken with this and then the other 25% are taken with my iPhone and I got this case that molds perfectly to the shape of this camera which is really convenient because it's small enough to fit in my little backpack purse. So it basically looks like this in its case and I just put it in my purse just like this. The second camera that I bring with me is the Sony point and shoot. This is the RX100 Mark III and this one has the flip out screen. So this camera is actually perfect for vlogging on the go, like if you want to look at yourself. And the quality of the images is really good already. So this is pretty good. It's just the fact that I wanted to be more creative with my shots. I wanted to create more bokeh in the back and I just wanted to create more like filmy travel style vlogs or just filmy videos in general. So if you go to my Instagram and scroll, like I have some videos that are just like mini movies. I wanna create like one minute mini movies for Instagram and that's why I like to have my bigger camera to do that kind of stuff. But honestly, this camera is fine for vlogging, for photos, whatever. Next, I just bring one tripod with me when I travel. I always have this in my purse. I don't use it as much as I'd want to, but I always have it with me. So this is the Manfrotto mini tripod right here. It's small, but it's super strong. Like you can put a really heavy camera on here. Like my big camera does just fine. And there's a button you can push here that it like, you can move this thing on top. <laughs> I'm gonna test out how I like this. I'm gonna see if I can like do some vlogging like this, but I don't know. It's just nice to have one tripod with you, something that's small and powerful. Next, I just have this pouch of extra batteries. So I have two extra batteries for my Sony a7S II, the big camera, because that one kind of goes through batteries really fast. It just doesn't hold that much charge. And the small one, I have like one extra battery that I put in this little pouch. So I don't know if you watched my previous video on how, like packing tips. I love pouches. 
I keep pouches from everything. These are not pouches that I bought. I always use pouches from other stuff. So this is like a pouch from an Amazon remote. This is a pouch from like a beauty eyeshadow thing. So yeah, those are the cameras that I travel with and they are more than enough to suit my needs and my desires. As you can tell, I am on the Sony train now. I do love Canon and I, like I said, I still use my Canon 80D, but this is becoming like my constant favorite camera. I'm always using this to like practice photography and shoot everything in my daily life. This is the camera I carry with me every single day of my life because I wanna shoot photos just for fun, you know, for Instagram. If you wanna shoot photos actually more than videos, you, I would recommend you get like the Sony A7R II or the, just the A7 because the A7S II is for video. It's more catered towards filmmakers because of its like low light capabilities. It shoots 4K, it just, it has a lot of stuff in here. But for me, because I mainly shoot video, plus I like to take photos, this is the camera for me. This is like a really popular camera now with youtubers i see more and more people converting to sony so it's kind of crazy you can research all those like sony versus canon videos i'm sure you'll find that sony is like up and coming and they're taking over so yeah all right links to everything are down below thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye